What's the last 24 hours been like for you? Uh, it's been a journey. Uh, it's really fun to to go from one city to the next and then play a game. Um, I can't thank the Giants organization enough. Um, Coach Judge, T Mac, Quinn for for helping me um, get to this spot. Um, can't thank the Carolina Panthers enough. Uh, Give me a chance. So, the last 24 hours has been uh, it's a whirlwind, um, but a blessing. Uh, incredible birthday present yesterday. So. I'm um, just excited to be here, trying to learn my teammates' names uh, and just get better, better every single day. So. Find out the news. Oh. Um, sorry, sorry. Can you restart that? Sorry. JJ Danson mentioned that he um, called Graham Gano and asked him about you. He had nothing but nice things to say. Can you talk a little bit about the relationship that you and Graham were able to, I guess, foster through training camp? Yeah, Graham is like an older brother to me now. Um, he is just one of the most incredible, genuine people that I've ever met. Um, he taught me everything that he could uh, in a short amount of time and um, just hanging out with him uh, every single night watching movies or whatever. Um, so super thankful for Graham uh, in investing his time and effort into me because uh, he wants the best for me. So um, if I could give him a hug right now, I would. Did you choose his number here that he wore here? Uh, no, no, I didn't. Uh, it was a pretty funny joke when uh, I found out, and then I was able to tell him. So I was like, I was like, I'm gonna try and do my best Graham Gano impersonation tonight. So it was a, it was an honor. Did he tell you anything when you found out you were coming down here? Any anything about this team or anything like that? Oh, he he helped me so much. He just gave me a ton of information. I mean, it was really cool walking off the practice field yesterday. And he was one of the first guys there to give me a big old hug. Just biggest happy smile on his face to to see me go into a place like this that he knows is really, really good. Um, and they care about uh, the players. So Graham, Graham's amazing. Ryan, it's a preseason game, I understand. But given the circumstances, were there nerves for you? I mean, if you're not nervous, you don't really care. Um, so of course, you're a little bit. But you're just trying to get better every single kick, every single time you go out on the field. And you know, I'm trying to learn my teammates' names right now. Um, and I'm just trying to do my job to the best of the ability that I have. Uh, I've been blessed with uh, amazingly strong leg for some weird reason, but I'm going to use it and glorify God in the way that uh, he wants me to. Um, so, you know, taking it one step at a time, taking it one day at a time. Can you imagine the world, man? I, I thought I heard Matt Rule say you needed to go get cleats when you got here. Is that accurate or no? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I, I have red, white, and blue cleats in my bag. And I was like, all right, I need to get some panther color cleats. So, yep. Did that involve just coming here to get, mm -hmm. or did yep. you need to have a special shoe you need? No, to they, they had some for me here. Yep. Ryan, uh, that 52-yarder, describe your emotions as you saw it hit the right upright and bounce him. Yeah, it was great operation by everyone. Um, super thankful for the line. JJ, Joe, uh, it was just a great operation. So. Uh, I did the best of my ability, um, and very fortunate that it got a good kick into the uh, the upright. So, um, obviously, going to get better. Um, we'll watch the film. We'll get back to the practice field, and we'll sharpen things up. JJ said something to the effect of, "You got to take weeks and months of uh, chemistry and condense it down into 24 hours." How difficult was that trying to get a new holder, a new snapper, and everything with, with everything that was on the line uh, tonight? Yeah, well, it was helpful for me to have confidence in the guys when I knew they had it all last season together as well. Um, you know, I trust them. Uh, I met them last night for the first time, and I was like, hey, I'm, I'm going to trust you no matter what. So just give me a chance, and uh, I'll do the best that I can. How quickly were you down here? Um, I think I walked off the practice field at like 1, got a flight at 4.30, got in at like 8, and then just ran with it. Less than 24 hours. Yeah, ran with it. Yeah, it, it's been... Amazing. Uh, thankful that my wife's here with me. Um, she's been incredible the, the whole process. So were you still at the Giants facility when you got the call about the trade coming off, you said coming off practice field? Right. So we were doing joint practices in New England. Um, so I was walking off the Patriots practice field and then had to fly out from Boston. And you got here around, you said about 8 o'clock. Did you come to the facility or what did you do at 8? Yeah, just procedural things uh, as soon as I got in. So physical getting fitted for everything. Yeah, yep. Take it, you're staying at a hotel or? Yeah. And your wife said, it's just you and your wife's with Correct. You. What's her name? Her name's Ellen. Ellen? Yeah. Yes. Yep. You just got married too, right? Yeah, two months ago yesterday. <laughs> yeah. 
it's been awesome so far. <laughs> talk with Joey much since I mean I know it's been a day but like what have your conversations with Joey been like yeah I mean he's trying to help me as much as possible get adjusted here uh, Joey's great so 